Motion tracking is super cool. It can be used for a ton of things like animating text or getting a camera to follow a specific path. Anytime you're motion tracking, you need to be aware of three key components. The footage, the null object, and the third thing. Now you might think I'm being intentionally vague, and I am, but in all seriousness, the third thing can be basically anything in After Effects. It can be a graphic, text, an image, a camera, and a whole lot more. Let's circle back to the first component, the footage, and start on our tracking journey. So this is some super simple footage. It's just a woman jumping up and down a little bit and motion tracking is gonna be a breeze. All you have to do is go to the tracking tab. If you can't find it over here, you can find it in your window tab or by clicking these arrows here and going to motion tracking. Now with our clip selected, hit track motion. That's gonna take us to this layer window and it's gonna make this itty bitty track point appear. The track point is a super important tool that takes some practice to use properly. As you can see when you zoom in, the track point is made of two boxes. The inner box is our focus area. When you place it somewhere, you're telling After Effects, hey, track this thing. So for a person, you typically want to track the face. So let's drag it up here and place it on her eye and resize it like this. You wanna pick an area that has a really good amount of contrast. The more contrast in the box, the easier time it's gonna have. Eyes and nostrils are great points for faces, but anything that stands out will work well. Just make sure you pick a point that you can see for the whole duration of the clip. Now the outer box is our sample area. It's what the inner box samples when motion is happening in the footage. Choosing the exact right size for this box takes some time to figure out, but know that the more movement in your footage, the bigger you'll want your box to be. Keep in mind though that the bigger the box is, the harder After Effects is gonna have to work and the longer it'll take to render. Since the movement for my footage is so simple, I'm barely gonna have to adjust it at all though. Now go over here and you'll use these arrows to start tracking. You can track both forward and backward, and if your footage is really complex, you can go frame by frame with these guys. For mine though, I'm just gonna press play and it's gonna scrub through my footage and automatically track the eye as it goes. While it's scrubbing, make sure you keep your cursor on the pause button and watch the footage to make sure the track point is staying where it's supposed to be. If it ever falls out of line, pause the tracking, go back and adjust it manually. Just remember when you wanna resume, you have to press play on the tracking window, not with your space bar. Otherwise it won't keep tracking. Double and even triple check to make sure it looks good after it's done, and now it's time to apply the data we just acquired to our null object. Make a null object by right clicking in your work area and then going to new, null object. Go over here to where it says motion target, and if it doesn't have the name of your null object already, click edit target and set it so it's targeting that null. Then just hit apply and the hardest part is over. Now if you go into your null object, you'll see all of the data from our motion tracking that has been applied to it. So now you can take anything you want, like this text here, and parent it to your null object, and now the text will move along with our tracking. Like I said, it doesn't have to just be text. This works with graphics or images like this cutie. Just position it where you want and parent it, and you're good to go. And that's the basics of motion tracking. I hope you learned something, and if you didn't, uh, well, that's too bad. Bye. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.